Hi, Kathy Morgan here. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do the buffalo check. That is a paint technique um, that I will use later on in one of my projects. So here we go. Things you're going to need. You're going to need a board. Okay, you're going to need uh, the foam brushes. You're going to need painter's tape. This is frog tape. you got the blue painter's tape. You can use either one. Uh, you're going to need red paint acrylic. You're going to need black acrylic paint. And actually, that's about it. This board is about a two-foot board. And I'm going to use this for my gnome. Is I use paper plates to put um, paint on. And I'm just going to paint this board red. I'm going to let that dry. And then I will proceed from there. So... Come back and take long strokes and that'll smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to put stripes or tape going down uh, the long way, okay? And I am going to actually measure like so. And then I'm going to, well, I might be pretty good. And I am going to put it, the middle part of the tape, right in the middle where that mark is, pretty much. And let's hope we don't get that crooked, because it doesn't look so good crooked. Oh, now I shouldn't have probably pushed on that. But what that's going to do is it's going to be a marker for you. So that you know, you don't have to, you want to make sure that this is going to be the marker to kind of spread it apart. Okay. And just put it right beside it to give you space. Don't put it on the other tape because you're going to pull that up. Okay. We're going to take another one and put it beside it so put your middle one down and why they grab quick oh, down. now that will give you your space and this is your spacer and then just kind of lay it beside it and see don't press on it because it'll just be harder to get up and then this one goes right beside it. Okay, now we don't have to put it on the other side because the other side's going to be open anyway. So I'm going to pull it up and put it on this side. And get my tape. And put it on the other side and that will give you pretty even shots and then I'll pull this one up and it gives you your uh, spaces all right now you can kind of put them down you want the edges to be a little bit tighter so that you don't get paint underneath them and that will give you your lines. Okay, now, you that red that you had, you want to make part of it a little darker. Well, just make the whole thing. Put a little bit of black in it. Just a tad. Just not much, but just a tad. To burgundy. I want to mix enough paint for it to look like a burgundy. Okay, now we've got our burgundy. Okay. So we take the burgundy, and we're going to paint the red that's in here okay so we're just gonna go up and down the stripes here okay I will use blow dryer, dry this, and I will be back.
you know, before you let it dry though, just go ahead and take this the, the tape off because we don't want that to dry on there. Okay, but see the difference here? Big difference. Even though it doesn't look like at the time that it's covering well, it covers just fine. Okay. Okay, now you can take the blow dryer and, and uh, use it on it. I didn't want the blow dryer, the heat, to stick the tape to the board. So um, always take your tape off. Right after you get it done, take your tape off and uh, so it doesn't stick too long. Okay, and um, I'm just going to put my little measure stick here. This is uh, 24 inches long, so I'm basically just going to put that. So on my 12, I am going to put my spacer tape, which will be, let's see, right there. And we're gonna put it across this way. All right, now, I know what that is. I'm going to put a tape on this side And the tape on the other side. This is the way I was supposed to have done the first one, so follow this one. Okay, now I can pull up the one in the middle. And use it as my spacer. And then I'll just lay it down right beside this one. Get another one. And just follow them up all the way down. Put this one beside it. Okay. And put some more tape. And I just kind of measure. Now we have all of our vertical or horizontal or whatever you want to call it. The opposite way. So we have that done. And we want to do a little bit lighter red this time. So we're going to um, we're going to put a little bit of white in just for a little contrast here into the red in other words we're going to mix it the red just a tad lighter all right now we're going to remove the tape for, oh no we're not going to remove the tape we're going to leave the tape on this one okay so we're going to leave the tape on we're going to dry it and then we're going to put more tape on. So um, I'll put you on pause and I'll be back in a second for you. Okay, we've got it dry. Now, the tape is still on. Do not take this tape off, okay? And we're going to go back to our original, whoops, long tapes. Like this. And we're going to put them right over the original red lines that we had, that we left after that. We're going to just put them right on that. And and we're going to put these tapes right back on it. I've got some new ones here too. So all I got to do is put them on. And 
they're not totally exact. It'll it'll cover, so don't worry about it. I just kind of hung these on the side because I knew I would need them again later. So um, you can do the same thing. Just save you a little bit of tape. Okay, just make sure that you get those edges down good because that's what you, you don't want the black to get on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paint it black. Okay, all of these spaces in between and that that you're not really seeing, we're going to paint it black. Now we can actually do the reveal. So, let's see here. Kind of see what's coming up there? Looks just like that ribbon, doesn't it? Yep. Got a little bit of a jig jag there, but that's all right. That's why it is important to actually get as close as you can on those lines when you put those tape back down, the tape back down, but it, it looks fine. I'm okay with it, because you know what? My gnome's beard is gonna be over it. So, but I wanted it to look like he has pajamas on, so that's why I wanted to do this underneath it and uh, have it so that it looked like the ribbon. I want to um, put the ribbon in, as you can see. Looks pretty doggone close. So I hope you like it. Refer back if you do want to do this to this video um, and uh, try it at home. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. You can, like I say, rough it up, make it look good. It'll look great. Don't worry about it. So um, have fun with it, enjoy, and I will see you on the At The Gnome video. Bye.